All right, welcome back to LearnWire. We're gonna jump right in. I wanna kinda go over a workflow and see how well we can get some content that is very high quality, very optimized to rank, okay? So first of all, we went and grabbed a keyword. I've been doing a bunch of research and I still use these tools today. So I actually went out here and found, as you can see over here, I'll go into multiple tabs. I was looking at a bunch of different websites using this tool called nichefinder.io. And because I have a business site, that talks about making money online and marketing <clears throat> and so forth. I'm just kind of doing some different, you know, th like this site right over here, this one's growing like crazy. You can see there's a lot of updates and it. it is hard to keep. This one also, it looks like they're recovering from a really bad hit on an algorithm update. And then now they're coming right back up. Well, you can see these sites that, you know, it's most sites, you know, like this one right here, look at this, they were getting up to 40,000 visits and then they go foomp, right back down right so i just like to look and then this one's really kind of uh, interesting you know you always wonder like what happened to the site and came right back down here like that but anyways we'll take one of these and then i actually go in and i will research and i'll put it in se ranking and then i just want to do it for keyword research really it's not really it's not even to reverse engineer or even copy the website because maybe we can do a better job and create better content than them but it does give us because i don't know about you but there's so there's billions of keywords out there right and the the trick is finding those keywords and so I like to kind of use those sites just to see what they are ranking for, what keywords are they ranking for. And then I put some filters on here, some very, very modest filters over here where the word count is has to have at least five words in them. So that gives you the keyword, the very long tail keywords. And the difficulty is 10 or less. And then the traffic is from 10 to 200. So these are some very, these should be very easy to rank for keywords. So we're just gonna go and grab one, right? So I'm gonna go with this one over here, tips and tricks for Instacart shoppers. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here into seowriting.ai. And we're also going to be throwing this in over to Neuron Writer. So let me go over to Neuron Writer and we're gonna log in real quick and I'll leave links to these tools below if you wanna go and check them out if you are new to this. And we're gonna come over here. This is gonna be for my realistic pay site. We'll go to a new query and I like to do this at the very start because then I don't have to do it in a little while and so the 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 tool is now going to work, right? So now we can come back over here. We're gonna go to the one click blog post. We're gonna throw that in right here. And then what we can do is we could generate a title and see what it comes up with for us. So it says unlock success with tips and tricks for Instacart shoppers. Tips and tricks for Instacart shoppers. So we have the keyword in right here, but it just gives us a little bit more of a click worthy title. I like that, unlock success. So we're gonna go with that, that's great. And then we're gonna come over here and we can see how many words we're going to need over here when uh, Neuron Writer is done. We'll come back over here. All right, so it just finished analyzing that keyword for us. So we'll go ahead and click in there. Doesn't look like we need too great of content. So we'll just push next. Yeah, it looks like all the content's under 70, which is great. And I usually will go and just see. So what I like about Neuron Writer is it's always going to pull in a ton of contextual NLP LSI keywords for us, okay? But what I'm looking for right here is this 2131. That's how many words we need. So this is kind of the workflow that I go, especially when I'm gonna put in the effort to really try to get this content really good. Where it's not just like, you know, scheduling one click blog posts. I also do that and that works well too. But in this case, I really want to see what we can do with this content. So it looks like we will can actually get away with the, the smaller end right here. And I'm going to show you a trick right over here because one of the tricks that I'm going to do is, so we're going to go through here. We've got friendlies, fine, point of view. Let's go with, I'm going to go second person. We're going to go with United States here. I'm going to go and leave it on high quality, but we have optimal quality. They did improve. This update came out like three days ago and they have improved the high quality or the optimal quality. But for things like business and things that require maybe faces and humans and things like that, then you're going to still want to go with the high quality. But if you're in, you know, art type space or, you know, just like if you have a, a, an animal uh, website or something like that, I think that the optimal will work fine. But really, if there's a chance like business and humans, I still have to go with high quality on this site. 
placement. They still haven't updated this part. I don't really, we're gonna go with one in each section on this one just to see what we can get, but I really want them to have one more option here where it's just like, you know, a max of three images because you either select this one and it gives you five, six, seven images, or just after the one is right there as well. So as, as not enough images, if you will. So image style, we'll come over here. I'm just gonna go with cinematic, I really like those. And then this is cool, include the main keyword in the first image as alt text. So that gives us some extra SEO advantages. Those are things that I always have to go back into the post to do some of these touch-ups SEO type things. And SEO writing actually does that for us, which is super, super cool. Um, and then we're gonna go over here to SEO keywords to include in the text, write some uh, keywords or phrases relevant to your blog, then press enter. So it looks like, I'm not sure if this works with comma separated, but I'm gonna go and grab some of these over here. And what you do is you just come down to the bottom over here and you click the list of keywords and then you'll go over here and you'll open up a notepad and paste it in. And then we'll come back up here and we're gonna go with some H2 h2s right here so i'm just going to push a comma after these and i'm actually going to go ahead and take the h2 ones because that's what's saying is the absolute most important so i'm going to go ahead and just grab these and i'm going to see if these comma separated i haven't really done this before so we're going to see if this actually works and it does that's really cool i'm going to go and grab just a you can actually push the nlp keywords generation and it will actually go out there and find some for us on the fly which is a really really awesome feature but in this case, I want to still come in here and go with the extended and maybe we go with just a few more keywords we'll add in and we're good to go. So then here is one of the kind of tricks that I want to try in this workflow. So we have a conclusion, yes, tables, yes, H3s, yes, the lists, yes, italics, quotes, takeaways, great. I'm gonna turn the FAQ off on this one and you'll see why in a moment but this is i've been going with yes on everything but right here we're going to go with a no on faq and then we're going to go right over here we're going to go with publication i actually do want to go with no and then we have this right over here and we're good so i'm going to go ahead and push run and it's going to go and create our article for us we'll be right back all right so we're back so let's go click on this Looks like we have almost 1600 words, that's great. I like this because a lot of other AI writers, they really kind of, when you select your range of content that you want written, sometimes it will often create 500 to 1000, up to 2000 words more than what you're asking for. So I really like, it does seem like they have this dialed in pretty well. Of course, you're gonna get that nice bolded text keywords there. You're going to get these really nice images. You're going to get the nice key takeaways. You get these bulleted lists. You even get these external links right over here. Sign up over here. It's going to take you right to an actual link, which is super cool. All the images look really, really good. There's one that is kind of a little strange right here. I'm not sure I would keep this or not. So this would be the only image that I probably would go ahead and remove, but certainly everything else looks really, really good. Okay. So we're going to come back up to the top. And we're going to also click on the show meta tags. We're going to go to meta description. We're going to copy that. We'll go back over here to Neuron Writer, and we'll just go ahead and put that in. I don't think, like I said, that it will move this up because a long time ago, Neuron Writer stopped counting the meta description as you know the final grade or points over here. And we'll come back over here and we'll go ahead and copy the article and we'll paste it in right here. Now, I'm not sure why the images did, aren't coming over. A lot of times this happens in Chrome. It's really, really annoying. I'm running the latest Chrome and everything, but sometimes the images just don't show. I'm wondering if I, yeah, I don't really see any other, uh, other copy options over here. I guess the one last thing I could do is maybe try to copy it this way and same, same thing. Okay, so we're at a 55 right here. And then we want to go, and the reason why we left out the FAQs, remember in the beginning, we left out the FAQs, where well, we're gonna come right back in over here. We're gonna come right back before conclusion, and I'm gonna just push return, and we're gonna say FAQ. I'm gonna push return, and we're gonna go, and we're going to go to advanced, and then at our FAQ with unused terms right over here, and I'm gonna go ahead and say write for me. And we're gonna see if we can get this boosted up 10 points right over here. And watch the points right over here. 
it, we, we boosted it up 11 points. So right off the bat with a click of a button, we went right up to a 66 right over here. So really, really cool. Another thing that you can do is push return, oops, is go above right here and then we can go into ideas and go into some H2s and we can add some of these right here. And we can add some of the, some more H2s and get some more content written and that usually will improve the score even more. But right away, that is a, some really solid content. It looks really, really good and we're at a 66 right here. So we can go and publish this. I'll keep track of this. I'll do an update video if we can get this article ranking. So this is a pretty cool workflow using seowriting.ai and Neuron Writer. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.